episode of Nights with Ricky. I am your host, Ricky Reeves. Uh, and I want to talk about the subject on the screen, romance. Romance is something that a lot of people do not even do anymore. And I think it's very vital for a relationship, period. I personally don't see anything wrong with ever, you know, being romantic, you know. And, you know, it's just, you know, very, very interesting to me that, you know, some men, they look at it as like kind of being weak or something like that, you know, just being nice, like being romantic and stuff. But I don't look at that at all. I think that you need to always appreciate a woman and show your appreciation in certain ways. You know, like, I think every week, if you're with a woman, you should always get a, a flower, you know, some some type of flowers every week. It doesn't have to be every day. I mean, some can do it every day and, and that's great too, but you could do it at least once a week. You know, you've got to always make sure that she just feels appreciated. Because one thing about a woman, they love affection. They, 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 that's what they dread. They just need that. They, they need affection and they want affection. And, you know, there is ways to do it. And definitely being romantic is definitely a way to do it. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with, you know, picking out a certain song that you, you know, think about her only with that particular song. You know, you go out at least, you know, once a week, sometimes even twice a week, you know, like you, you should still even date if you're even in a long term relationship relationship. I still think you should date them like you just, you know, like first start now. It just keeps things interesting and it just stays just fresh and it won't ever get stale because that's what I see with a lot of couples that's been together a long time. Their relationships get stale. You know, they know what that person's about to say before they even say it. Sometimes when you see them, <laughs> they could be having the most frustrated looks on their faces, just, you know, of thinking about each other. And when it gets to that point, it's just like, no. Like that's that's when that's when stuff starts. That phrase, everything comes to an end. It comes definitely to fru uh, fruition with that subject alone. But I believe that you have to have romance to keep anything fresh, to keep any type of relationship fresh. And you know, like just being, you know, surprising, I'll always be a great surprise. Because one thing that I'm very good at is surprise. I just come out of nowhere with, with like things. And I remember little things that a woman says, you know, not those, uh, you know, the big things matter, you know, of course, birthdays, you know, certain anniversaries, stuff like that, of course, that matters. But, you know, little things like, you know, if she has a certain candy she likes, or there's a certain way she likes her food prepared, or, you know, she likes a certain temperature, you know, she needs a certain blanket to keep warm or something like that. Always look at the little things and listen to the little things. It's so important to listen to the little things. Like, if you do that, you're going to have a very long lasting relationship and it's going to be enjoyable. It's not going to ever be, you know, like, oh, why am I doing this and everything? The only time it could be really bad is if you're doing all these good things and you're not getting any respect from them. Now, that's a different story. Now, if you're doing all these good things and you feel you ain't even getting respected for what you're doing, then go ahead and leave. You know, move on to somebody that will appreciate it because there's no reason to be, you know, you know, just keep doing something over and over and you're not getting nothing out of it yourself. You know, the door swings both ways. So, if you ain't getting respected, then definitely don't stay there, especially if you're giving them more than enough appreciation. You know, you're going over the top, giving them appreciation and affection. There's no reason to stay, but I definitely just, you know, always keep it fresh and be romantic. 
you know, find different ways to be romantic, you know, like, you know, if she comes home from work, you know, give her a nice little bath, like, to come home to her. Um, give her a great massage, like, or shoot, you know, even learn some of this stuff. Learn how to become a massage therapist. So, you know, you could just have that under your belt, you know, and, and make sure you do it, like, just well. You do it well. Be romantic well, you know. Make sure you do it to the best of your ability. And, like, if you do it to the best of your ability, I don't see why you can't get respected and appreciated for doing that. And it's always good to make someone feel good. It really is, you know. Like, uh, you know, it always is a great thing when you make someone feel good. And not only physically, but emotionally and mentally. And, you know, it just feels good that they could just trust you to know that you're going to bring that out of them. So, yeah, look for all the time for ways to be romantic. Like, don't let that, don't let that stuff die out. I mean, you can even be romantic if you're not even, like, exclusively dating a woman. Like, like, for instance, if I'm single and it's Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays, by the way. If it's Valentine's Day, I make sure to go on a date with a woman. That is just, you know, and we're going to go enjoy Valentine's Day. And, you know, I make sure she gets the flowers, the candy, the, like, or like, even if it's some little things, let's say if she doesn't like flowers or something, she just likes certain things. I'll make sure to go out of my way to look for those things and, and give that as a gift, you know, but like, just always kids keep romance involved in everything of any type of relationship you get. Like, don't be listening, you know, talking about romance is dead, you know, chivalry is dead. No, it's not. It is not. Like, I, I can't, I'm trying to think. I don't really have too many, like, bad stories to tell on my end um, when I've shown appreciation and affection in that way and being romantic. I can't even really think in my own uh, experiences has that ever happened? Like I've always gotten respect back in, you know, appreciation back. Um, I've, you know, there's, that's other reasons for why those relationships ain't, uh, <laughs> they ain't around right now, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But the key thing is just to keep being romantic. Romances, it's just a beautiful thing. I mean, it really is. You know, the definition of romance is you know, feeling of excitement and mystery associated with love. And it's also a quality of feeling of mystery, excitement and remoteness from everyday life. I mean, it's kind of like dreamlike, if you think about it, you know, it's like, you know, you could be in a dream world, but you can make those dreams become a reality. And like, it's just very satisfying to me if I can make a woman feel good inside. And, you know, even, and, and see, this is another key thing about romance. Let's say if she's having a really, really bad day. Let's say she suffers from like some type of mental health, you know, or something like that. She's, she's always depressed or something, but you've shown her appreciation and affection and were romantic to her at least one time in her life. Hopefully she'll always go back to thinking about that and knowing how she felt, and that'll give her that feeling again. And you always want to make sure you leave stuff off on the best terms. Sometimes you can't, but always make sure you leave some great memories behind when you have these relationships too, if that, if that happens. I mean, I guarantee you she won't harm herself, you know, or anything like that if she's having that bad day. She won't do anything further than that if she th has that kind of moment, you know. And then that also helps her in her future relationships. She'll know what affection and appreciation looks like because it is amazing to me how someone, you'll show them affection and be romantic and they don't even know how to handle it. Like, 
they they they've never experienced and that's very shocking and i'm like man some of these women be having you know multiple like baby daddies and stuff like that and ain't never even got no gifts from them and i'll be like man i've <laughs> i've been talking to women just talking to women and i'll get them flowers and everything and don't even get nowhere close to getting ass and <laughs> And I'm like, man, these dudes don't even have to even do that. They can get bait and then leave, too. That's a whole different video in itself, too. But, I mean, that's just some things that I think about with romance. I really think romance, it needs to be, you know, you need to keep that in your relationship. And you need to keep being romantic. Uh, it doesn't work. have to be just the man. The woman can be romantic, too. You know, find those little things he likes. Like for instance, I'm a I like mango. Uh, I like the Bolt House Farms Protein Plus Mango flavor. If a woman had got me a case of that, I mean, you're doing more for me than giving me money or giving me cologne or anything like that. You know, you're actually helping keep me alive because it's got some great nutrients in it. And it just tastes down right good to me. And it's going to make me feel good. Like, so if you got me something like that, I would appreciate a gift like that any day, you know. It's some little things that don't have to be nothing major for me, you know. So, you know, women can be romantic too, you know. Definitely look into that. Um, but no, nah, I just truly believe that you should always appreciate and show a woman true affection true love and true romance like there's nothing wrong with doing that you're not gonna look weak for doing that the only time you don't do that stuff is if she doesn't respect you plain and simple and you and it's just if it's that particular woman that didn't respect you you don't treat the same woman the uh, same way that previous one left you you, you treat the new woman brand new like she is she's new she ain't you don't know her you know so don't ever take your take your past experiences with these women and then bring them in with these new women you bring those certain things you learn of course from those previous relationships but you treat that new relationship new if something comes up that's recognizable from them past relationships then you could just say man this is common or something like that but every new situation is a new situation you know it's like it's like when you get a new job you know don't be taking what you did at your previous job into your new job that's not the same place <laughs> so don't think don't even do relationships like that but make sure you always keep that romance in and even if you're single or whatever if you have romance oh it's going to take you a long way trust me it will it will you know, and then that's another thing, you know, niggas say, you know, I, I don't, I might not have any money, you know, I ain't got no money like that. I don't feel like spending money like that. I mean, that shouldn't even matter. If you're showing the woman like true romance and true love and true affection and true appreciation, that shouldn't even matter because you're just helping her feel better inside and helping her know and be secure that someone is out here really caring about me so that's my little take on romance and you know definitely like share subscribe appreciate all the new subscribers that's coming in definitely appreciate the comments when i see the comments uh the messages i get in emails and you know i'm just gonna keep making these these little videos and put my little take on 